Okay, so in this video, we'll be looking at a simple question which was asked in GATE 2024 electronics paper. So I will write it EC, EC paper it was asked. It was a one mark question. Uh, so it is related to digital electronics or uh, digital circuits, whatever you can say. So uh, just a simple question, uh, just wanted to cover it. Uh, so here what you can see is it in, in question what they are asking is uh, for a Boolean X function F A B C D uh, summation small m 0 2 5 7 8 10 12 13 14 15 this is what our function is given to you a boolean function and you have to find the essential prime implicants uh, which one which ones are the essential prime implicants and uh, options were given but we will solve without option okay so try on your own if you want uh, i'll move to the solution now so here you can see uh, we'll be using kmap uh, you can see it is a four variable uh, function so four variable k map i have used here you can see so i'll write the uh, numbers 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 okay so here you can see um, uh, we have to find the how many uh, essential prime implicants are there uh, which ones are there actually so i have marked the min terms here you can see so this is what we have a uh, min terms here I have mentioned. So, 0 is this, 2 is this, 5 is this, 7 is this, 8 is this, 10 is this, 12, 13, 14, 15 are 12, 13, 14, 15. That is how it is uh, uh, made. Now, we will make the pairings. Uh, so, here you can see pair of 4 we can make. First is uh, this guy, uh, this one, right. I will make it a, a lighter. Uh, uh, um, uh, what should I say lighter pair uh, then uh, you have like this also to cover the uh, these two guys you can see to cover these two guys uh, these I made uh, for these two guys right then you can see a bigger one like this out, uh, outer loop like this pair of fours okay the pair of eight is not possible that is why I am not making it uh, so maximum is you can go for four now there are three uh, pairs you can see I will mark it uh, this uh, or this and this. So, this one is first let us call this is second and this is third. Okay, What are these first is you can see uh, first one is this guy right outer loop outer loop outer loop outer loop. So, this is uh, B bar and this is D bar. So, we will write B bar D bar. Second second name is name of second this guy is oh, all of this right so it is ab ab and the third one which is this big gun so it is a uh, b d bd so bd so these three are your uh, pairs you can see but uh, we don't have to find pairs we have to find essential prime implicants remember essential prime implicants are any uh, in in a pair you just have to figure out is there any one min term in a pair which has no other option for pairing then the pair becomes essential prime implicant okay so you have a pair like this any one min term any one min term out of all these four if they have it if they don't have any other option of pairing then this pair becomes essential prime implicant okay so that's how you have to see so let's see uh, if you have this guy you, this min term does not have any other option of pairing so it has to be taken in this fashion that's why it becomes essential prime implicant okay let's check other other min term this guy if you will check this guy doesn't have any other option as well so this pair has to be taken what about this guy this guy is having an option of making a pair like this or this guy has a option of making a pair like this. So, this guy has two options right one to be included in this pair or one to be included in this pair that is why because of this min term this sh it should not be a essential prime implicant same goes for this guy it has an option of making a pair like this or included in the pair like this. And that is the reason because of these two min terms, this will not be 
uh, uh, essential prime implicand, but because of these two, it will be a essential prime implicand. We just have to find one min term, at least one min term uh, in a pair, which should not have any other option of getting paired. Okay, so it will be automatically becomes EPI. So third will be your EPI. Let's check uh, B bar D bar, which is uh, B bar D bar is first, which is this guy. You can see directly uh, uh, this one and this one does not have any other option of pairing apart from these guys. So this bigger giant has to be taken as an EPI. But if you will look at uh, the from the perspective of these two min terms, this guy has an option of getting paired like this, or this guy has an option of getting paired like this. Okay, or rather, I should make like this. So, because of these two min terms, this this also has the similar thing. It can be paired like this, or it can be paired like this. Okay, so it has two option. This guy also has two option, but we have to find any one min term uh, which does not have any other option in the pair. So these two guys don't have any other option. That's the reason one will also be a essential prime implicant. What about the second guy, which is uh, AB? AB is this one, right? This one. Now you will see the difference. If you will look at this momentum, it has an option of getting paired like this, or it has an option to get paired like this. Look at this guy. It has an option of getting paired like this, and it has an option of pair uh, getting paired like this. Same goes for this guy. It can have a pair like this can be included in the pair like this and the last guy also has the same problem it can be paired like this or it can be paired like this so none of the min terms in this example two has an uh, uh, means everyone uh, is having any other an uh, alternate option of getting paired means none of the min terms have a single option of getting paired and that's the reason this will not be a essential prime implicant okay hopefully you are able to understand this line any one min term is required in a pair to be declared as essential prime implicant if it is not having any the other option of getting paired. Okay, based on that we choose EPI. I have taught you all these things uh, in the in the digital electronics or digital circuits, so you can go through it. So one just simple example. Now, uh, how did I decided these pairs? Um, actually, I sought the options. These were the options. Okay, so the answer for this question will be uh, B bar D bar and B D, right? So where do we have B bar D bar and B D? So answer would be A. Okay, and you can see it uh, in the options these three are only available. Okay, and that's the reason I got to know I should not pair like this, right? Uh, means I could in the in the beginning when I was making one, two, three. Why didn't I thought of making a pair like this, right? Because I I saw the option. And in the options, there were only three B D, B bar, D bar, and A B. You can see all are mixture of these, right? So, uh, depending upon that, I made only three pairs, and I saw that uh, which one is uh, E P I and which one is not, and according to that, I take the answer B D, B bar, D bar. And what was the answer given by the institute? The answer given by the institute was A only. Okay, so that's how you cross check. It was a one mark uh, question. Uh, just a simple question uh, to revise and brush up uh, what you have learned. Uh, yeah.